Okay, committee, can we get started? This is past our startup. Yes. I'd like to um, suggest that you yours, Katie. Um, I'd like to have us share uh, a New Year's resolution to be a little more faithful to our Robert's Rules of Order. John, it's a way that we can uh, do our business pretty more efficiently and clearly. So just as a little reminder, um, that means that you would ask the chair, tonight that's me, it could be somebody else next month, but you ask the chair to speak by raising your hand and that if we come to any decision points tonight that someone will make a motion a second person would then second that motion we would then expect to create time for discussion or debates or whatever before we move to vote and then we would also as best we can record the vote does anyone want to add anything to that going forward okay all right so um, our first <coughs> um, order of business is to look at the agenda and see if we want to put something, add to it, or have questions about it. Kate. Uh, I was wondering, Diane, did, are you on here to, to speak? Could we add? Well, we have <coughs> our citizens, which we love our citizens. So um, we'll figure out. We'll probably follow the rules of council in that matter, which is to create spaces after mm -hmm. agenda items for people to speak okay. for three minutes. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> um, I would like to add one thing under uh, Judith's uh, council business, which would be just a reminder about how we, um, what do we do about the fact that we're missing two, we've lost two committee members. And our alternates, uh, Al and Dave, have been regular, hardworking, and voting, and all the things that a regular person who's on the committee would do. So, just what's the our protocol going forward into 2018? <coughs> we could do that. Let's not do it now. Let's add it to the business. Okay. Um, anybody want to add anything else to our agenda? I, I, I do, but I, I know that I'm no, not. No, it's not a good time for that. Not the time for it. Just a minute. Um, so the second item in terms of going forward would be our minutes. And Steve just got these to me, um, and I'll, I'll add that he's feeling a little swamped with this new school board world. So there's some question, we should put that on the agenda too, that uh, we need another, a new secretary, because he's finding that too hard to do. But if you would just take one minute to read to yourself the minutes so that we can approve them. And also, can I get a copy of the rest of the packet? Would anyone like my portion of the packet? I guess that's one. Okay. That's right. <coughs> Thank you. Does everyone have the minutes? They're, right they're being passed. They're, they're going around. They're going okay, around. everyone would just read the minutes for one minute. Mm -hmm. Read the minutes for a minute. I think of the bill that it should say. Just hold on one second, hold on one second. PD keep own stats, not states. Oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Any other corrections or additions to the minutes as written? Does anybody have a pen that works really well? I move that we test them as, uh, as correct. Yeah. Yeah. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. The minutes are now approved. Okay, we're going to go on to um, updates because we have taken some things to council uh, during the month of December and even January. Um, so let's start with December 18th, the data report, and John will just report on what that was like or how the council responded to that data report. Okay. Do you want to start us off? Sorry? Do you want to start us off? No, you go ahead. Okay. Um, so we gave the data report. Uh, Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. I did. I didn't hear what John said. Ah, oh, um, we just we gave the uh, me, Pat, and Beth gave the data report to council. Um, there wasn't a lot of questions. There, there uh, a couple of council members uh, expressed an interest in the 2017 data. Um, I don't know. Oh, would, would you like to add anything? My perception was that there was um, some questions about what would be the use of looking into the past. I thought I heard that. Um, and that going forward, we wanted to stay in the present or future. I thought, the day we, were there, we don't hear stats on the future. <laughs> <laughs> the future lies ahead. And, um, I thought that I heard that from some council people. You were there, Al? I was there. My perception was. What I, what I feared, there was a three times council people said, please, we don't need that this much detail. Give us a brief summary of the results. I think it was, it, we did not serve well with the presentation as it was given. And I hope in the future we can maybe give a half page or one page summary. And if someone, if one of them wants to, Go into the detail, or certainly the data of welcome. You know, welcome idea. Judith, did you have any I thought it was an excellent report. I thought council appreciated it. Uh, Beth uh, and Pat and John did a great job. I I didn't feel that at all. I don't think council would have been uh, happy with a half page to a page. Um, and I thought, um, given how complicated the data is. I thought um, I thought people appreciated it. Uh, that was my general sense. We it wasn't real clear. I don't think council was real clear. We asked basically. I think the way we left it was that Matt and Beth and John would recommend next steps. I think I said that, so I remember it. <laughs> and uh, and in terms of uh, and and it's occurred to me that um, as we think about disparate impacts on the poor, this next piece that um, we got tonight could be very helpful in that um, as we see well what are the kinds of stops and you know what's and then in terms of the mayor's court you know one piece of data I would like to see us collect soon I mentioned this to you Al um, was um, figuring out where are these you know looking at what's going to the mayor's court and what's going to uh, Green County and um, as we're trying to uh, you know, uh, see a change. I think Chief wants to see a, a sea change in terms of things coming to Mayor's okay. Court. It's not good that's another issue. Yet, right? Sorry, but, um, I know. But I thought it was good. I actually thought it was good. I think Council was pleased in general. Okay. Okay. So the, our next steps will be to make some. Um, well, we'll get into that later. Nice. Next steps. Um, the outreach specialist, Kate, you want to just give a report on what finally, 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 finally happened? <laughs> well, uh, the updated, oh, there is some, some, uh, some copies of the updated, uh, yeah, I do you have that? Which should have been the same one from last time, right? No. Oh, it did got, it change? It changed. Isn't this the 18th? Is this the one that was voted? Yes. It is. It is the one we voted And I thought it was, was not the one. On. And this, this is not the one we voted. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was yet another one. This is a iteration. It's another iteration. This is like a a large. Well, the other one was more condensed, and this one is is more expanded upon. Uh, so it did pass the council. Um, 
outside. Which means it will be posted as a job. Right. Sometime in yeah. The, do you have any timeline about that? I don't know. I'm actually meeting with the chief this week okay. to go over some questions that some citizens had, and I was going to okay. um, keep following up with him, but not as a justice system task force member, because I think our part of it is done. But as whatever other hat I wear, maybe HRC. I have a little more information. I mean, I talked to Chief today briefly. Uh, he's in process of getting it posted. He's already getting applications. Um, and I just want to uh, thank Laura, who, you know, I had asked for input from all of you in terms of where that uh, job description was at the last meeting. And Laura uh, gave some input, and it was particularly, we used a fair amount of the language. Um, and, and then uh, Brian and I talked to the chief and Patty, and we've been asked by council to do that. And so that was kind of a process. But to bring the okay. Up the okay, so that's uh, if you can count that done, done, and a success, and something we're all happy about. The community seems very happy about. It. Yes. <coughs> the taser policy. Uh, I I was not at the meeting, but my understanding is that you can. It's teed up. Well, I haven't Take it, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> it was teed up. Council last part <clears throat> said we were going to bring legislation to the next meeting, and I got a call from the chief today. And um, they are in the middle of what you brought up, Lexa Bowl, and he wants us to hold it and not bring it to the next council meeting um, until, I mean, I think uh, evidently the Lexa Bowl. Uh, language on tasers is very similar, and they want an opportunity to just kind of compare. And I didn't think he said since it's taken this long, you know, waiting this a little bit longer, he would appreciate it, being able to look at that. If you could make that, it's so, it's a uh, uh, <laughs> lexical. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I can explain. Well, no, it. Just, well, not an explanation. Just if that's so. It's not coming to the next council meeting as had been expected. Okay. okay. So. Chief has asked us to put it on hold. Right. And just as a longer. just as a reminder, it was um, the idea of changing the taser policy based on unfortunate events on New Year's Eve uh, a year ago was um, that recommendation was accepted by the council, but because it is. Um, legal, basically, legal information. It's within something called the use of force policy, which is something mandated by the Attorney General of Ohio. And there's certain languages and certain blah, blah, blah. So it, it's been a, a good year of uh, chewing on it, I guess we'll <laughs> say. And the Lexapro is an online consulting resource for, um, for the police, for the police department in terms of um, what a policy, what a good policy, what good practice would look like in a policy for Ohio. So it's something people are very uh, cautious about, I guess. But um, we feel, well, go ahead, I'll just tell the people how we feel about getting it into legislation. Uh, well, <coughs> the reason why we want it in legislation is that we had a good taser policy under Chief Grody. And the chief after him just changed it without telling anybody, which is their right to do unless it's somehow enshrined in legislation. So the reason to make sure that the council anoints this is the something as a taser policy is that way we'll know it'll be there next time they whip out their tasers and we're proud, you know. Um, we don't want to be surprised to find out that you know the next guy has changed it back to something horrible. So part of the legislation proposed will be you must you cannot change it without council. Well, well um, so administrative rules, just as a, as a thing, have to comport with the law, and um, council makes law, basically. They make, they make law that the, then the police department has to follow. Okay. Like, Thanks. As an administration. Thanks. Um, okay. Um, any questions about the taser policy? So it sounds like there's, you know, there's no disagreement on the general tone and the ideas. It's a matter of making sure that it has the right language in it so that it can be in the form we needed to to do what you're talking about. And this Lexapro just happens to be going on Lexapro. Yeah, exactly. It happens Lexapro. to be so the tool that's being used now for processes, policies, procedures, and want to make sure that it matches up nicely to accomplish <coughs> that plus put it into the Lexapro. 
Maybe, maybe. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't. I haven't seen Lexa Pool. I don't know what's in there. I've got some for you downstairs. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> 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 I asked you, could you make two copies? Okay. Go, okay, and good, so we, let's pick it up at the end. Uh, you know, there's the and danger then, when you start using these sort of uh, resources that you end up with something that's pretty, you know, pretty uh, standard uh, and not necessarily best practices. So it's some stuff that would be acceptable anywhere uh, and maybe not acceptable here, to be honest with you. So. Um, so then what's. I haven't seen it. I'm not saying we'll that that's the case. Okay. I'm just saying. She wants time you know, to. Yeah. Okay, we, uh, Al, would you have a question? Laura, Laura well, Lexapol is, is a um, package, software package that comes with, it, with its own standardized downloaded policies. However, you can substitute localized policies and then officers can go on it and do training on those policies, <coughs> finish units, have they read it, and answer some questions. So, we're, so it, it integrates updates in the law, training, policies, Standardized, but you're, you know, this jurisdiction is going to substitute their own for one of the standards. So it's really a good tool, but it needs to be customized to the jurisdiction. Can anybody and, download it? Can what? Can anyone download it? No, it's a proprietary software. And the, there's a license that the department has. Okay, well, it's an ongoing, but it's something we're still paying attention to. And then other council business, um, Judith? In the particular, how will we uh, regroup as a as a committee going forward? You What's the about the two people? Two people. I mean, council's uh, uh, practice when we're uh, when we have new people to add to any kind of a task force or commission is that we put an ad in the paper. Alternates can apply, but you're not automatically put forward into the full committee. Um, and then we do the interview that we did originally, you know, we do the interviews originally that we originally did. Um, I know one thing the committee has said is having, you know, looking, having younger and more diverse folks, uh, you know, that that would be a, something we should be, you know, trying to recruit to the, you know, folks that we should try to recruit to the committee. So I think that's important for us to do as well. Well, Didn't the council have a a retreat last night? Or? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Do you is there any anticipation that the representatives to the task force will change? Um, it we're not making a decision at the retreat. We're kind of talking about uh, more broadly because that. But but we aren't going to make. We're going to make that decision at the next council meeting. What? Could I take a few minutes to, um, sure. to um, um, I, I was considering resigning from the task force, as Cindy did, because of the number of comments uh, made that were, I found insulting personally and of our committee. Uh, I thank John for uh, his email suggesting collaboration on this uh, data analysis with me. We, we have met and uh, I think we've got some good ideas going forward. That really encouraged me that we could salvage effective committee action. Um, I also applaud Dave for his ability to forgive and move forward after going through a rather uh, uh, traumatic experience. Uh, before I can move on, I need to make a few more points. I met with Judy about six weeks ago, maybe seven weeks ago. We discussed the effect of the post against Dave and how the task force could continue. I, hope, I told her how disruptive I felt John's post was. I mean, we've gotten through most of that. I don't want to belabor that. But more importantly, I told her how harmful I found her comments. So she said my recollection of the comments were incorrect. So I went back to Channel 5 archives and reviewed the November 6, 2017 council meeting. And I found twi that twice, Judy, you made comments that is, I feel insulted the whole committee because you, you said, except John was the only one, twice in this, John was the only one on the committee that was looking out for the victims or, or something. Like John was the only one on the committee that did the, did the right thing. Um, if other committee members choose to, uh, to look to, to hear her statements and draw their own conclusions, 
They occur at 10 minutes and one hour and 30 minutes into the meeting. I brought my computer, I have it on there, and um, you know, I'd be happy to, to show them. Uh, now, why do they hurt so much? Uh, personally, I spent 50 years of my life working for racial justice. I'm not, you know, I, I, in my original, I had went on and on about the things I've done. That's, that's not the important thing here. Uh, there are other Caucasians on this uh, task force who have similarly, by their actions, done a lot to overcome their programmed racial biases. I think we deserve better than Judy's comments. Some of us have different views of the way forward than Judy. This is diversity. It is to be valued, not insulted. In order to move forward, I feel that some change is necessary. Last week, I got a copy of the uh, of the village guidelines for commissions, committees, boards. Under this, uh, in this, under the role of council representative, it states, the first point on here, <coughs> council the council representative should not be the president of any commission, committee, or board. This, yes, that's a quote. This is a citizen-based task force. It should be run by one of us, not by a council member. Judy has violated this stipulation many times in the course of this, uh, of our, our operation. Secondly, in a village this small, a hard and fast rule against nepotism is probably not wise. However, when two closely connected individuals are serving together, I think it is crucial that they use the utmost caution. I do not think that, that this caution has been the case, uh, has been the case with our two hemplings. Indeed, it is my perception that a um, enabling relationship between them has been sort of responsible for all of this uh, grief that we've had to go through. For, re these, re for this, these two reasons, I, I told at, I t uh, six or seven weeks ago when Judy and I met, I asked her to consider stepping off of the task force for the good of the task force. She said she would think about it. So I again asked Judy to step off the task force to be replaced by another council member. I asked her to do this for our future success. So I just want you to think about it when you go to your retreat. Is this something you want uh, an answer about now, or? Uh, well, I thought want... I thought the treat, retreat was last night, so I thought maybe a decision had been made. Okay. So I, I, I'm just asking her if she chooses not to step off. I would ask her to do, to use much more caution in her statements uh, uh, about the rest of the people on this commission. Uh, I, I've been very hurt that she and John both have said that all of the other committee members are trying to pro pro protect the police. And, now, and, and this, you know, this is clearly not my intention, I don't think it was Dave's intention, and it has hurt other people, like Cindy, very, very much. And if we're going to accomplish something, we've got to work together and making these very uh, uh, disparaging remarks about other committee members, I think, is very, very destructive, personally and as collectively. Okay, thank you, Al. I don't think these are new, um, this isn't new feedback, I think, that's been given to Judith, and I'm, I'm sure she's seriously considering, but do you wish to respond now or wait until? I mean, I don't know what to, I mean, I don't intend to offer to step down. That is what I, I, I initially thought that made sense. And as I've thought about it, I don't think it makes sense. And I don't intend to unless, you know, council insists. But I do, um, we are talking about uh, the whole issue of family, close friends, you know, sort of there's that whole question, what's, what's the difference there? If there is always a difference, you know. So, but I, um, I do, we, I do think we need to come up with, and that is something we are talking about in a circumstance like that. You know what we do, where you know, there's a situation where you're like, say you're a close friend and you're the liaison, and it's kind of those two roles are interfering with each other. And I agree that um, I was having trouble thinking clearly, and I don't. 
the statements I made there, I, I don't know exactly what I said. I know I was very stressed out, but I, I was trying to make a point, which I'd rather have a private conversation with you about, which I think there was a point to what I was trying to say. It was not trying to disparage the committee, but, you know, it was a pretty stressful Saturday. It was stressful, so, and I also, and I said it in public. Yes, you said it. That, that was, you were insulted said, by yes, what you, you said. Yeah, so I think you got the feedback pretty yes, clearly from yeah, people, yeah. and in public meetings. But I, so. I, I actually don't feel, uh, I will say this, so maybe it's worth having a couple private conversations. I don't actually feel like that what I was trying to say and the concerns that I had actually have been heard by the committee. I will say that, because I did have some concerns. It's not that I feel like, you know, I. it's not that I in any sense feel like what I'm trying to insult people. That's not my point at all. But um, there was a concern that I had, and there was a problem that I saw, and I was trying to articulate that. And anyway, I don't think we well, want to relug it. Um, just Let's another start. brief response, and then I yeah, think we do need to move brief on. I mean, there are consequences to, some, to what, what you, you say and what you say to other people. Right. Uh, for, uh, there have been other in town that come to me and, and ask me about what am I doing on this justice system task force trying to block this stuff from getting to the police. I had Steve, I I'd appreciate Steve emailing me instead of posting something, but he emailed me with some questions that right. derived from some of the comments that you and John made, uh, and I responded. We had, we had an exchange, and I hope uh, Steve has a better understanding of, of what of my position, but there are consequences when you when you make these remarks that are uh, that others may not may not understand and are really insulting uh, to, to the uh, to the uh, what what other committee members are doing. Okay, it seems like uh, two things: one, that some private conversations, and Judith has expressed a willingness to have those private conversations, and then I think we can be. Um, Appreciative that the council's tip is going to, in their retreat, discuss the issue of boundaries in, in these commissions, and that we would hear back about that in the future. So um, maybe we'll stop there. And this might be a time that um, Sean, I'm sorry, go ahead, Jim. Uh, just for those that may, may not be aware, uh, I believe that the, the comments being referred to uh, <coughs> pertain to the, the idea that implicit bias was, was at play in terms of the, the interpretations and response to the uh, uh, statistical report. Okay, well let's, let's leave the subject and move it into private conversations. We've, we've got enough blood under the bridge here. Let's yeah. And this, this is what I thought. I was thinking this would be a really good time for Diane to hand out a couple of things. Okay, well, Sean had asked first, so if you could take three minutes, Sean, uh, okay, I'll, I'll your input, and then... Thank you very much for, for a few moments of, of this time. I, I really appreciate that. And um, yes, yeah, so my name is Sean Talaki. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. Um, really what I want to get across to the committee is, um, you know, coming in here, I was really present to the fact that uh, it's, it's a year anniversary from when I first attended one of these task force meetings. Um, and I was, I was happy to, to attend then. I was happy that this task force had been created. Um, and I had asked about uh, what was being done with this uh, research into the Citizens Review Board. Now, it was on the notes saying that there had been a um, an intention to research the Citizen Review Board, and I see today that the um, it seems to be even less of a priority than an intention to to, um, to investigate that. Now, I'm not trying to come with with a you know make wrong message. That's not that's not what what I'm about. Um, but it is very important to me as a member of the community. Um, that, that such a citizen review board is created, especially before this task force would be um, discontinued, if, if ever. Uh, because, you know, I grew up in this town. I love this town. Um, I could talk about my adolescent friend, I, 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 Edie Bakari, who passed away in police cu uh, in uh, custody, uh, state custody. I could 
I could talk about Paul Shank, who I never met, but um, you know, was gunned down in Yellow Springs. I, I could talk about Adam Lisi, who's recently passed away, who was also a, um, somebody that I knew growing up. He was the little brother of, of um, my, my friend. And, you know, whose, whose dog was shot at one point by, by a police officer working here in Yellow Springs. But what, the person I'd like to speak about is, the, is Corey White. Corey White um, was shot by the same police officer that shot Adam's dog. And he was shot, you know, during nighttime. Now, when Adam Lisi's dog was shot by this police officer, who was known to be a bit, you know, a trigger-happy person, um, the response of the police was to put him on night duty. Now, that might have made sense at the time in a certain very narrow logic, but in my mind, the result of that was that this, this police officer went to respond to uh, the, the, the call of Corey's white mother, who was concerned about her son. He, he does suffer from uh, schizophrenia. Now, this wasn't the first time that he had been called, uh, that the police had been, or the, the police had been called to, to the, their house because he was having a schizophrenic episode. But this was the only time that the paramedics were not called by the police. And instead, this police officer who was trigger happy showed up with a gun and shot him. So you, we can talk about the details of it, but I feel that that was a real mistake not to, to notify the paramedics and have the paramedics intervene as they normally did. And, you know, obviously um, some of you have heard my, my own case of an uh, informant who had been working with the police, busted a few different people, was on the payroll of the police, um, who raped me uh, and, and some other children in the town. I was 14 years old. He spent 15 years behind bars for what he did to me. That was a choice the police made, knowing that he had a previous record in multiple states of pedophilia charges and they were using him to bust people for pot. So here's some pretty glaring mistakes, right, that the police have made. And so we, in my mind, it's a, it's a clear <coughs> decision. We got to have a citizen review board. We yeah, have to have, like you're using, that's and, and, time, and, and so. a year later, you know, it's, this, this issue has got to be elevated beyond uh, just, just okay, we'll think we'll we, think about it or we'll research it. So, all right, that's so I, I, I think yeah, that, I just like to end with a question of for, for, for the yeah, whole please. for the whole board. When are you going to do something to create a civilian review board? When are, when are there going to be actions taken? Okay, and I want to hear from each one of you individually on this. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, you have to move along in our agenda. Um, wait, I'd like to respond. No, no we're going to keep moving. No, but, no. Okay, so Adam Lisi was a good friend of mine also, and, and I did want to bring his case to the attention. He died recently, Pat. Okay, I, I and just, No, no, this is connected. These are all difficult. Painful. How can you, the committee cannot do its work if it is not, how can we, are you being real we, now? Are you, yes, I'm being real. Wait, John, stop wait. it, stop. These are all really painful, really difficult things to hear about. And I think Sean is making, or has made, and he's made it, a very strong case. He feels very strongly that one of people, the things... People are talking about this. Sean, stop. we got to have some order in this We meeting. have to have order in this committee. Now, we've heard his issue, and we can put it on the agenda, not today, but sometime in the near future, that this is a strong feeling among some people in the community that we look at citizen review. That is not something we've actually taken on in this charge. How about the next agenda? So, let's hear from, because now we're going to hear from Diane. What? Wait, we have, we stop. We have an agenda, and we this have is an not agenda, an agenda right and now. If we, I mean, I, I don't know if we, if we hear, I guess maybe one thing we might want to think about is when citizens bring things, how do we want to handle that? Well, we just said, we put it on the agenda. Listen. We will okay. put it on the agenda. We listen. Okay. Okay. We heard what Sean said and why he said it. Yeah. And I just I want to thank clear. you guys for, for hearing this. I really do yeah. appreciate it. It's, it's, and it will go on an agenda, but not 
tonight. It's, it's normal for deliberate bodies to respond to things that committee to the community members stay. That is a normal. John. That is what council does. That is what any normal deliberate body would do. Well, we're not doing it tonight. We have an agenda. And we're going to keep. I move to extend agenda. debate. Do I get a second? I, I'm, I'm, seriously, none of you will right, let no me second. speak about my past friend who died as a result, in part, indirectly, as a result of, of local events connected to the police. None of you will second that. That's right. Look, I'm, I'm really glad this is being recorded right now and that, that other, other members of the public can review this because I'll tell you, there okay, are other members of the, of the public that care about Sean, this issue. you have to stop speaking or leave. We have, we have only so much time for Are the police going to drag, drag me out of here? Is yeah, that how it's going to be? Is there a way to add I don't want that. to the end of the agenda? That's what, what I wondered. If we should just try to add something to the agenda. Could we put it at the end of the agenda? No because, well, oftentimes yeah. we're done fairly early and there's if we're done time early enough, we can. I think there should be. Time we, have a lot of, we have a lot of actual business to do. I know, but. Yeah. Well. We've heard that there's a concern and it should be on the agenda and it will go on the next agenda. I think that's a logical Well, why don't process. we see if we have time for the I move to charge Pat's, okay, so I'll just bring it up. I move to charge Pat's group that is currently investigating uh, what, and I know that you, you have a report, that is currently investigating what other um, communities are doing in terms of uh, their interactions with police departments to also look at citizen review boards. I second that. All right, awesome. Is that, and thus debate is open. Discussion vote. I thought you weren't doing that. They they weren't currently. Oh, I thought a vote. That was part of that. Say, no? All in favor. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed to that being added on to the task? Yeah. Thanks for the motion has passed. Thanks, thanks, thanks again, and I, I also appreciate the commitment to have it on the next um, agenda. We didn't say the next. Oh, I thought you just. Did. <laughs> we said we're going to have to figure out. Agenda planning. There is a the committee, meeting. and are you saying that committee would take that up? As we'll well. take it up. Okay. So there's a committee already working, looking at these. Things. Looking, we're looking at, right. and we'll get a report on that later. Then. Diane, please. No, Pat. Oh, let's hear from Diane. Um, we we have discussed this in the past, and it's one of the things that we talked about. But we're about not going to discuss it right now, please. This is one of the things we talked about working on, and along with a lot of other things, so it's not like we haven't talked about it. And we ultimately will, but I think now is not the time to have a full discussion about exactly it. Exactly, right, right. Well, now let me just repeat the motion that we just agreed to. That working group, and that's right now Bill and I, who are looking at other communities and how they handle their advisory, review, collaborative community groups, will be more aware of and ask more questions and do more research about those that also have review process. That's what we just agreed to. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Well, my name is Diane Ziller. I'm a certified trainer of nonviolent communication, which is an approach to living. It's more than a communication technique. It's about how to navigate life, because as human beings, even though our, it's our deepest desire to relate to everyone with care and respect, as human beings, differences are going to come up. Conflict is going to happen. Like, just happens here. It's going to happen. How do we, how do we navigate that in ways that are in harmony with what we really value? NPC helps us do that. It helps us hear each other, hear ourselves, hear what's really important. Um, I'm teaching a class. It's free. It starts this Saturday, the 13th, six Saturday mornings, 10 to 12:30. I wanted to come and personally invite you. Um, response has been really good. It hasn't even been in the paper yet, and I'll write it there. Are only seven spots left. So I wanted to <coughs> give you a flyer if you'd be want to pass those around. And I'm staying for the meeting tonight. If you know you want to come, I have a sign-up sheet here because, like I say, it looks like we're going to be cutting off in order to have an office. Yes. And this is at the Presbyterian Church? Yes. It's sponsored by the Beloved Community Project and First Presbyterian Church. Letting us know about it. I it. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess one other, 
small piece that was, this is backtracking a little bit, but Steve, I wondered if you wanted to share the change that you um, need to make in terms of your new responsibilities. <clears throat> oh, that I just, I can't. Um, this is difficult for me to maintain the remaining. Uh, it's just because it's the same week. These are always the same week as um, the school board now. And, uh, so you want to let go of being the secretary? Correct. I don't really, I, I definitely want to remain within the task force, but the concept of a secretary is um, Understood. It's, it's Understood. becoming overwhelming for me already. So, does anyone feel called <laughs> to become the secretary, a most esteemed position? <laughs> I did it one time. I'm happy. I would, I would. I'd be happy to do it again. I will not do it the way Steve does it. But I'll, I'll write it out, and, and if the notes that I took last time were okay, they were great. If, I, if when I'm here, I'll record it, and I'll get it. Ah. <laughs> I'll record it. Okay. okay, well thank you all for being willing to step up and we appreciate the work that Steve has done for over a year now, so thank you very much. Yeah. Good luck on the school board. I just wanted to ask a question about the Secretary's job because honestly, it, my need out of minutes is who volunteered to do what and what decisions were made. Mm -hmm. I personally don't need to see discussions recited in the minutes. And the second you start doing that, you run the risk of screwing it up anyway. So, and I don't know if other well, people need to see more. Right, and that's the other thing, is normally people talk about what is needed. Like I know for HRC, from the press secretary, what's expected by this being so brand new, I'm afraid if I don't have it in, even though I can't get everything down, it's impossible, but. I, I just wonder, since it's all been recorded, and you can exactly. go look right. at the whole thing. Yeah. I didn't quite see. That's also what I don't have time for. The like, need that's for it that, as it was too. in the past. When you do minutes, what should be on there is you know what was what was the action that was required. Yeah, if there was a motion, mm -hmm. details are not needed at all. Who yeah. said this? Mm -hmm. Who said that? Right. None of that. Is not, you're right. So you know some of it can be um, slimmed down a little bit, but with a little bit more focus. Okay. Well, on the slim down version is used. Okay, could we raise, raise hands, on. please? John has had his hand up, and then David after John. Go ahead. Oh, um, We're going to raise hands. Uh, I appreciate as, as much content as possible, but of course, I respect that the secretary is limited amount of time, and I've tried to be meditative tickle myself before, and like, I just can't do it. So, like, I totally respect if you need a slim it down. Okay, okay, David, quick comment. Uh, the slim down yeah, version is for making sure that people who are supposed to do something know what it is, and yeah. the other, if you yeah. want more detail, you watch the video. Yeah, okay, great. And so Al, you're you're on for next at least yeah. next meeting. Right. That's good. Thanks. Okay, so uh, let's move to our working group report. Um, <laughs> mayor's report. Just maybe a couple minutes break. I know we have a couple minute break. Okay. Scratches me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody okay with that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a quick. Yeah. There's some reading points. <gasps> <laughs> we're going to run away. All right. What are we doing? We have just taken a minute break. Two minute break. Eat chocolate, man. Eat chocolate. I'll make it more hyper. <laughs> 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 it has good bars. Dwarf ends on that. Or we could do a breathing exercise. Yeah. 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 Her and the so classes several yeah. times. And I really want to do it, but both Steve's and my kids have basketball every Saturday morning. So. Right, and then one week I got to But I'll be there making food. It's quite my year or something, but I don't know. Oh. But that's good. You've it. had such a good. Yeah, wow. I like it's it, exciting. I like yeah, and you're putting. So is it going to be in the paper? Yeah. I didn't. 
Yeah. I didn't make our last yeah. meeting yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. Um, oh, but Carol Simmons was there. But yes, I did like no. Oh, good. So, yeah. uh, not just about the NBC class, but the launch. Oh, good. I didn't watch all that. And then she took our picture. Yeah. After that, oh, nice. so I'm expecting it to be there. Yeah, I'm here. I was saying, I was like, I always made it. You sound like you're pretty involved in things. I didn't know. I always had neighbors in the What's your last name, Kate? Hamilton. I have a stack of reports. I don't know about HRC. It's interesting. I can remember. I'm not sure. 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 I'
Okay, when you can get started again, please, whoever's here. So, I hope I should shop that part of it. Sorry? I said we should tell. Yes, okay, there's some things that don't need to go for. We should tell what's his face to chop that part. What's his face? I don't mean to be mean, I forget his name. I forget his name, too. Spencer. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my name. I need to drink some water. Anyways, that would be nice because, like, yeah. Some things need to be kept internal. <laughs> well, we need David for the. Okay, let's do the police. We'll we'll do our report about. Yep. Oh, he's coming up. Okay, let's do the mayor's court. Before uh, Dave talks about the mayor's court, I would just like to ask uh, the, you know, the group, I would like to withdraw from the mayor's court subgroup. I missed the last meeting, and I would like to join with John on a data analysis uh, subgroup. Uh, and so if you could talk, if, if John is willing to talk about, and yeah, that's too, I just talked about, about, about that. But, but I would be, but. I have a, a butt in front of my participation. Sure. Yes. I have my three minutes. But, but anyway, let Dave go ahead. Okay. Um, All right. So, okay, well, that right. actually falls under our reviewing our next the year that's ahead. Yeah. yeah that's but um, thank you. And does anyone have any, I mean, is that comfortable for John? And, well, why don't we talk what? about this? Isn't this the mayor's court? I'm sorry? Well, okay. what, what oh, we? never, never mind. We're going to move into where it should be. Right. right. We've got out of out of. Yes, yeah, talk about it under data group. It's about data group. So, has everybody got the two page handout? We do. Recycled like paper. There's some first grade homework on the back in case you're bored. Uh, this chart was done uh, by Laura and Cindy. Really well done. Very clear. Uh, very simple. Uh, what we were doing was trying to show a simplistic flow of what happens between the time you talk to the police officer and the time it's over uh, using the nearest court or something else. So what we did, what we have is, if you look at the second page, I stapled them backwards because I had some printer problems, so the second page is a better place to start. What's at the top of the second page? Okay. So the top of the second page is your citizen contact. Right. Okay. Okay. Which one are you looking at? The second yeah, page. Yeah, I would suggest ripping off the right page, putting it in front, because okay. this is how it's supposed to. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. there's various things that you can happen. Uh, I think what would make sense would be to, be to say a brief few words and then you look at it and then ask questions, um, because I think it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty clear. There are different aspects of the, uh, of the con what happens after you have the officer citizen contact and for no action to, you know, going someplace for somebody making you pay money or, you know, or something. Uh, there are several policies that we suggest and need work, and we're not saying this is the policy suggestion, but some kind of policy or some documentation, general order, whatever it's called, uh, to uh, put in place uh, to make the process go more smoothly. Uh, so the um, review process in between uh, officer citizen contact and the actual court is an important one, but you can see what those three are, so I would suggest you look at these and then can answer questions. Hey Dick, can, can I ask a question about the chart, or are you yeah. ready for that? Uh, I thought <coughs> these were very helpful, by the way, so thanks to all the work. I'm wondering uh, where you have the referred to the chief assistant village solicitor for review. Is that where that one belongs, or does that one belong at the bottom of the stem coming right off of officer citizen contact? And so it mediates actually everything below. Where are you at? Uh, here. So my question is, here, right? is this one here? Right up, this one here. Up right after no action. Yeah. Have the other three yeah. left underneath it. Does this one here actually belong there? With this to here. Oh, nice. So yeah. this one here. And have those three underneath it. 
So where would you put that? No, because a lot of times the officers will immediately issue a warning or a, or a citation. Um, let's see, let's go, like, they'll, they'll immediately, they cite it under the ORC. I'm starting at the, um, on this second tier, clear at the right. So if there's an officer citizen encounter and they think a crime's been committed, they could immediately cite it into senior court, which means they cited it under the ORC. They could cite it in the mayor's court, which means they cited it under the Yellow Springs ordinance. If they're not really sure if a crime committed or if it's civil or it's a fence dispute, maybe, you know, whatever, they're not really sure, that's the they should refer it to the chief or the supervisor, and if we do have an assistant village solicitor assigned to look at the fact, what they think the facts are, and whether it ought to be charged at all. So that's where the no citation is issued right then and there. And then some things they may just issue a warning, or they may say it's just a civil case. It's a, it's a fence dispute that's a civil case, okay? So these are some possible outcomes. So now I think this, this referral bit right here is simply that it's a case that, that needs a little more looking at, that the officer doesn't feel they can immediately issue a citation. So what do they say to the person? They does say, that ever well, happen I'll, now? I'll, I'll refer it to, I, yeah, it should happen. I think it does happen. So they they'll don't always say just give you a ticket? Or not always. They'll it. say, we'll turn it in or, or uh -huh. they, yeah. Okay. This allows us to have some form of diversion, in which would include restorative justice mediation, blah, 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 whatever, you know, uh, would happen. So the, the, what the diversion comes in, so after uh, uh, the case gets into mayor's court, um, well, there, yeah, if it was referred, then it ends up, in, in any event, if it ends up in mayor's court, that is where you can do a diversion restorative justice program, and somebody's got to run that program, normally it's going to be the, um, the lawyer who's assigned to that court. I'm not going to use the P word. I'm going to say assistant village solicitor. Okay. But they have a diversion program and they decide who qualifies who does and the policy is developed that policy can be developed in conjunction with this committee but for example first-time offenders might be prime for a diversion so what sorts of diversion program i mean what does that mean i don't know okay um, what diversion means is it's I mean, an so opportunity okay it's an opportunity to so what's happened in our justice system is the snowball effect of collateral consequences right. on people's lives, and you talk about poverty, and, right. and is that, so it starts with the, that first conviction. Right. So do we want to give people an opportunity in the appropriate cases not, <coughs> not to have that first right. conviction? Yeah. Okay, so you divert them. So you say, okay, you go and do the, pro but this is a prosecutor choice, not a mayor choice. The prosecutor says, assistant solicitor says, okay, you're a first time of speeding offender, We'll let you go to a, a three hours a good driving course, come back, you show me your certificate, I'll dismiss the case. The prosecutor has the power to do that. They've been diverted, they're eligible for the program under the policy. Is that a public program? No. Oh. And Fairborn so does it. Lots, lots of county, lots of does many courts county, do it. So there's one. I don't know. Um, I'm not aware of Xenia, but I know Fairborn, I've been doing some research. I know Fairborn Municipal Court has a traffic diversion program. I think that our, oh, I think, I think I, I there's aiming, lots of them around. I wasn't aiming for too much discussion for specifically how to do these things. Right. This is, uh, this is us letting you know that we're at this stage and going to try and flesh out what some of these policies would be and where they would be inserted in the process. So, you know, discussion is fine, but in order to move through things, that our, our goal wasn't to work everything out tonight, but we will be doing that in the future in the subcommittee. This looks uh, very but, helpful to understanding. Mm -hmm. If we don't, if it goes to mayor's court, and then mm -hmm. just going back to this, and there's like a three-hour course, where do people get it? There's uh, so the that's part of running the program is you look at what's available in the community, where it's available, what the cost is. Sometimes it can be done online, you know. So you, that's part of developing a diversion okay. restorative justice. On the restorative justice side, let's take an example of graffiti. You know, so some kid goes into Glen, does graffiti. Uh, they 
instead of, again, and not, when I say kid, because this is not juvenile, this would be the 18-year-olds, okay, the younger people, all right, I'm older, so. Uh, so the 18-year-olds are doing graffiti, and it's, it's a first-time offense, and uh, so we say we're going to do restorative justice, and we may do that restorative justice circle Jennifer Berman talked about, like, here's how it affects the community, the harm you did, and then we're going to make you pay a restitution or figure out how to go clean it up, and you come back and do all that, and, and hopefully something good comes out of that. If they don't comply, that's when you refer them, well, then you have to go talk to the judge, the mayor. So I always, I always thought this like it's like probation or, or restorative justice before, before you're found conviction. guilty of any. That's right. And that's if exactly you do right. it successfully, then you just, the citation disappears, it gets torn right. up. And so it is really good. There's no conviction or anything like that. It doesn't affect your insurance. It's, it's no. a terrific program. Yeah. And it is operated in almost all the courts around here, probably all of them. Uh, so we'll have to make one up. And that's yeah. downstream. And then, yeah. well, we've already recommended the everything that can go to mayor's court be sent to mayor's court. So the policy on the, on the right is kind of covered by that. The codification of the and, and planning of the diversion uh, the process. Uh, so that it's neat and clean instead of oh, last year so and so did it and this year we're doing it differently and then um, <coughs> trying to figure out a way to include the public defender or people who need help would be something else on the second on the other page uh, and this this fee that you know people may or may not be required to pay to uh, get what they should get for free be eliminated on the, also on the second page. So those are the those are the main things that we're seeing. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, Jennifer, you have been involved in this for the police working group, um, there's a, there are notes from the visit that Bill and I made to um, the Dayton Community Police Council. Um, we met with the director of that program, and again, just as um, context, the idea <coughs> is to visit and research uh, community review, um, advisory, uh, public relations, different kinds of entities because there has been a proliferation of them and there is research about what works and doesn't work and so on. So this is a this will be for a while a lessons learned. What is it that we see that seems of value that we might consider doing ourselves? Or also some empathy because one of the things we that they shared as um, a big challenge was their data committee. Um, and the fact that they paid ten thousand dollars to someone, <laughs> well, we paid two hundred and whatever. Uh, of course, we can't compare to Dayton, but I mean, they obviously have struggled with their, how they're doing the data analysis and sharing it with the public, which they haven't even done yet. They're trying to figure out how to do that. There's actually just something that they did on the news like yesterday. Oh, did they? Great. Related to the, what they did. And yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> their focus, which I thought was interesting, their, and this is by design, um, their focus is building a positive relationships between the police and the community. So they do things like listening tours where um, officers are invited to go into a particular part of the city where the, this group organizes um, ways that citizens talk about their concerns and their issues and the officers listen. Um, they are located inside of, that is the, this council is inside of the Dayton Community Police Relations which does handle complaints against officers but they themselves do not handle any complaints. Um, as I said they're focused on uh, dialogue, uh, they have block parties, faith-based breakfast, I mean there's a lot of community activity. Um, so that seems to be a lot of what they do and are successful. One of the things they also have uh, is that the gentleman shared with us, do they have like, I guess it was a seven or nine week mini uh, training program, right. like a mini academy. A mini academy you could um, join if you were really keen to know what the police You know, it's not like you join the police but you get the experience somewhat of what officers go through in training. And so you go through all that, and now you have, you have an idea, which I think is, 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 is pretty good, because now you see the other side of the pillow. 
and then I'll decide you want to do it. Yeah. You decide if you want to do it or not. This is true. Did yell that way doing push ups kind of stuff? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, one, one of the challenges that 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 uh, I asked him about was the number of young African Americans who applied to go to the academy, I and mean, you're not getting a, a lot uh, of, uh, of of that uh, because different factors, lack of trust with the police, financial resources. You know, there are some some um, uh, agencies who are willing to pay for you to go through the academy, but that's kind of few and far between. Uh, and and so I, I enjoyed enjoyed the conversation. This this is a process that, you know, developer community review board is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take right. some time because number one, you got to find out who's doing what and then you got to take the time to meet with them and you got to get back and meet and then come up with some uh, some strategies that can be presented to uh, this this committee, so and uh, I want to thank Pat for being patient because there were times he wanted to go, mm -hmm. but I've been traveling, you know, for August, September, and October. We, did, we went though, and we're gonna and go. We're, we're gonna, gonna go, go some go, more. We're gonna go some, some more. more. So, just be patient. <laughs> just be patient. It's not. It's not. I wasn't born with that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, but we're we're, <laughs> we're helping you evolve. Yes, thank you. But I, I would point out that in our charge from the council, there was an intention that we would do something like this in terms of helping the community at least understand or have. Uh, and we haven't. That isn't something that we've been really strong with. So we can get some good ideas. I I, I had a meeting with. Uh, Oh, because we have uh, Bomani, but many of you know the governor. Sure. He and I met this past week you know, you know, uh, <laughs> Bomani on, on Friday, and he sent a, a link. Did you get it? Uh, uh, I, you yeah, got it? Yeah. Okay. In which uh, the police practices, the podcast, podcast. podcast. Steve, can you get that out to the committee members? Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I can make sure. And, and, and the podcast is, yeah. is dealing with. Um, uh, police uh, matters, concerns, etc. You can listen to it on iTunes. You know, like uh, I who created it? it? It's uh, different people. One of the guys who who was, who was on there, I think his name is uh, Cable. I think it, but he just put out a book called Chokehold, uh, in which he uses uh, the chokehold as a metaphor for what's going on in America, not necessarily just the chokehold itself that officers use, mm -hmm. but the chokehold that society has on a number of different people. Character driven hiring yes. process is what it's based yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's part <clears throat> departments have you hiring read based off of character. And I have it right here so I'm about to actually so yeah. Yeah. character driven hiring practices for police. What does that mean? And with, when you not just the right people. hiring, not just hiring, depending on where you like, went to the academy and where you, it's like also character. Like, can a place say we want these characteristics of a person? Oh, yeah. Most, yeah. most, 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 most people hire by resume and, and not by type. Not by type. Not by yeah, you know, a typological profile of a person mm -hmm. because it came up. Last night when we were at the 365 meeting, I mentioned that that's something that should be done because now you can predict how long a person is going to be there and the type of person. But you got to know what kind of person that you want, uh, and then you got to be able to look at that. And, but it'd be an interesting sure. podcast for people to share. Can we move on to the data group, or is there are there any last questions or comments about? That? Uh, Chief Carlson talked about that kind of thing, I'm not using those words and phrases, but you talked about how the hiring usually is done based on how well you shoot, whether you you know can right. put something in your chokehold fast and take down and, and whatnot. And he says what he's starting to do is look at character, attitudes, things like that. So yeah. I think that's, that's started to that he's brought some of that to the table. Doing more is a good thing, but you know, I don't know. Yeah. But if there's so let's let's not get in on into this subject because we have to get our reports from groups, so it's something maybe to bring up again, or the podcast would be useful for us to listen to. The data group, John. Um, so, um, <clears throat> in order to answer the, the question, uh, 
what is the applies to be issuing citations and warnings for? Um, I looked at the misdemeanor and minor misdemeanor citations and warnings issued by the applies to be. Obviously, it's the same, same data set. Between April 2010 and December 2016, and grouped the um, 239 charge statutes used by the YSPD into 32 uh, violation groups. Um, you, oh. It's on here. So, it's on, so it should be on here. What was the name of the group at the time? Oh, the data analysis project? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't want to boil it down. I think that keeping it more separate will be useful down the road. Um, because basically police are our jack of all trades, but you know they're enforcing in a lot of different areas. And um, when when we look at what the police are doing, it's useful to remember that they do a lot of diff very different, diverse things. Um, so sorry for Obviously, a lot of these are really infrequent. Um, anyway, do you guys have any, kind of just want to open it to questions as soon as possible. Okay. So, so, were you, you going to ask something else? Oh, I have a quizzical look on my face. It's just the way I look at it. My understanding, uh, which chart should we be looking at? To, if we wanna, is there something that kind of like... Ah, yes. So, there's there's two charts here. So the first the first one, this page horizontal one. one. Page one. Page. Yes, page is, is the second page basically of, the pack, of this of this stapled together piece of papers. Um, and if anyone in the audience needs another one, there's another one up there. Um, yeah, this one. And that that lists all on one page all the different violation groups. They're they're put in three different clusters: um, auto and driving, drugs and alcohol, and um, other. <coughs> so each of these things listed is a group of things that generally fall under the the title that you get, is that fair to say? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, it's, yeah, exactly. So license and registration insurance is like all the different sort of like not having the right tags on your license plate, not, um, yeah. Bill Randolph? Oh, when you, when you say here people and then tickets, can you explain yes. that? Yes. So, for example, for, for speeding and YS residents, um, 106 residents received 110 tickets. So, a couple of those well, people received tick, two tickets. Yeah, a couple of those people received more than one ticket. Um, similarly, or you'll notice that ticket. that the um, YS residents and out of town residents don't totally add up to the number of people. Sorry, so it might be a level of detail that's not. So I can I can get caught speeding four times and exactly. get four different times, get four different tickets, and it would show up as skewing the numbers. Exactly, so exactly. within that time period, right? Within the time period. Like 2010 I didn't get four speeding tickets at the time. Is that for the year? No, no this, this is for April six, six, six and three quarters years is, is the time period. So that's someone that speeds, you know, a couple so, times. Exactly. So for instance, four, you're saying six years, okay. that only four people got more than one speeding ticket in that time period? That is how it turned out. Uh, the warnings wow. are a little bit... Our people learn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah. 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 Crazier, yeah, so yeah. like so like drug possession is a little bit more more lopsided it would appear. Um, license registration, um, unsurprisingly, is um, you know, people are getting a lot of multiple ones because you can actually receive if your license is suspended, it can get suspended more than once, and then if you get uh, pulled over you'll get um, you know, hit with driving under suspension multiple times. Uh, so um, and then, and then you'll you'll notice that the the number of people, if if you guys are like, oh wait, these numbers don't add up. The number of people um, isn't. So, sometimes that number will be a little bit smaller than the number of wise residents plus the number of out of towners because you can both be a wise resident and an out of towner because people move in and out. And um, uh, similarly, you'll note that like if you just subtracted the number of um, people that received parking tickets from the numbers, um, it'll add up to like more citations than were reported in the other report. Uh, it'll add up to, a, yeah, more, um, more citations than the, than the ones in the other report, and that's because um, some of the uh, parking type tickets that were excluded from the demographics analysis 
uh, were basically people getting hit with um, driving with outdated tags on their, on their license while their car was parked. So tag just park. So when you say the wrongful entrustment of the motor vehicle. Um, wrongful entrustment of a, of a motor vehicle I felt like should be its own class because you're not actually driving a car. You're letting someone else drive your car who's impaired. Who, hmm? who may be impaired. Oh, no. You, I think it's actually who is not legally able to drive because their license is suspended more than impaired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I googled so it. So somebody. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe that's pretty it. Small. I thought yeah, I read the. I, I read the charge statute, and I was pretty sure it's mainly uh, a license registration and charge statute. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I would like to say, and I've, I've shared this with Sean before. I think the data group, and I'm sure this will happen, and I'm leaving. I'm leaving this planet. The data group. Um, <laughs> the planet of the data group. Okay. <laughs> Spelling myself. Sounds like a movie. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> You know, it's just such valuable stuff, but I think as a committee we have to have some clarity of we're doing this particular, we're asking this question to find out this for this reason, and then this is how we will communicate with the police and with the, in other words, we need some, some more, fo both focus and, yeah. so Al, you want to come in and then John can but answer? John, uh, you know, I, John initiated off of they offered to have me join, as I understood, to join the data analysis. I, would, I thought it would be very valuable because they have more people working on it. Right. And so we, we met and we sort of formed a strategy. And I was hoping that this group would approve a data analysis sort of subgroup, as we have in the other subgroups, to work on these things. Not so that we can bring all of this stuff to the committee, but so that we can do the analysis and find those those specific kernels that are really are really important that we think are important to bring to. Okay, but do you hear what I'm saying? I think we need to just say yes, that's important as a committee. Uh, so, so, um, go ahead. so uh, I know Beth wants to speak to this. Um, I, I did want to say yes. that. <laughs> but I did want to say that um, it wasn't, while well, I am like trying to put together a follow-up analysis on the demographic stuff to like look at some issues that were raised um, both in the committee and somewhat by council, you know, look at more current data and so forth, um, bring that sort of detailed proposal. I was planning to do that at the February meeting after I consulted, February meeting after I consulted with um, some statisticians, but that doesn't mean that we can't talk I, about I just well, that Judith wants to say something. I'm sorry. I do want to say, um, you know, one of the policy projects is disparate impacts on the poor. The justice system disparate impacts on the poor. When I when I saw this report, I thought, you know, this could actually be really useful. Sure. Uh, to know. Well, no, no, I didn't think you were. I wasn't. I wasn't, okay. no, no, I wasn't saying sorry. you were. I was just. I just wanted to make that statement. I think it could be very useful to know, well, people, you know, to get a sense of not only, okay, there's this many speeding tickets, okay, so if they go to, if they go to Green County, you know, what kind of a, you know, what's the charge, you know, plus the, you know, what do they end up having to pay? And then the same with when it comes to mayor's court, and when we think about poor people faced with these large uh, costs, you know, I mean, I think it will lead to some thoughts about solutions and how to bring some ideas to our new mayor. So I was thinking, this looks like this could be really useful. I, I think we all so, agree. I'm sorry. There's, can, I don't know. Can I just say, no, wait, Beth is next. And exactly, then, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, so, so you're uh, talking about this John report. John, Beth is next. Is that? <laughs> well, I was trying to say that. I was trying to say John, that this sit report. Down. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Uh, I'll be I feel free. Um, so my engagement in this data analysis has been a really interesting experience uh, in a lot of ways, and um, and so I kind of have I've spent some time reflecting on it, and I so what I want to say to you all is, if you want to go ahead with data analysis and move forward with that, I think it is absolutely essential that you, this group have a substantive extended discussion, more than three minutes, about what you want from that data analysis, what your goals are, what your priorities are, what processes you want people to follow. And I think 
one of the reasons there was so much swirl and disagreement and confusion and whatever about the one that we have done is because there wasn't that front end conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And it would have really helped and guided. And the, what we, whatever we came up with, I think would have made more sense to you all because we would have talked about a structure in which that analysis is going to happen ahead of time. Yeah. Um, and so really what I've said to John is I'm interested in continuing, but I won't unless you all are willing to have that conversation. And I can be part of it or just listen to it, but it's sort of that's my requirement. I think that's what I said. It is. Because <laughs> you said it really well. It is. Right. So when you said it, I went, okay, she took my, <laughs> took no, my topic. No, you explain why it's yeah. important to do that, and I think we have to do that. So and you gave a perfect example of the kind of question that we would then say to this data committee, this is, what, this is the kind of information we wanted, this is why we want it. So I think that it makes sense that in our next agenda, and the leadership group can talk about how we do it, but we spend a substantive amount of time talking about what's the direction. And then they themselves, of course the group who's really focusing on this, can talk among themselves about their strategy, but we, we have to have more of a committee understanding about what we're doing and why we're doing it. I mean, I feel that we had this very useful report, but where is it going? I mean, yeah. I think that probably the police department is just like, I don't want to look at it. I mean, I'm guessing that. I don't know if that's true. And the community certainly hasn't given it attention. And so I think we have to think through the whole, from, from A to Z, what, we, what we're doing with these reports. Because they're powerful. They, I mean, I think of it. I was just going to say, I wondered if Beth and John, and I don't know, Pat, well, you're now no, moving on, Beth it. and John could actually, I mean, to have that conversation that you think we need to have, and I, I'm in agreement, it would help us if you could help somehow frame that discussion. Sure. That's what I feel. Like, this is what, you, this are the kind of things you can get from data. This is where how it can lead to, you know, recognizing problems, finding solutions, whatever. Um, if you can, if you can help frame it, I think we're going to need that to have a useful discussion okay. as a committee. So, so that's what I would suggest. I, I think that's a really good idea. Um, I would not be able to participate in that for a couple of months because oh. I'm going to go get a knee replacement oh. in three weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to be like, not doing it. <laughs> what? You can sit around not doing it. <laughs> exactly. The first time. Uh, so, so, um, so that's the um, kind of the glitch for me personally. So next month you wouldn't be. I would. I. You wouldn't be available. So it, we sort of need to move around to move on. But we have an agreement that we need more attention to the strategy of going forward. I think. Let me just ask: Are we in agreement that we do want to go forward with data analysis? Can, well, and you're wait, right can, can I do wait, it before, wait, wait. before you oh, oh. wait? Uh, I just want to have a sense of the whole. Does everyone feel that this is valuable enough that we want to continue? Yes. Is right. there anyone Are you going, go, go. hesitant? No, I'm just checking. Can, just checking the water. Yes. yes. Anyone yes. feel there's a question about it? Okay. Um, but I would like that we be aware of, of what I think is necessary. I heard the council asking that we look at the data for 2017. John and I have made some efforts to get the data from 2017 so we can compare it with the old data. I think the makeup of the subgroup would be important. I would hope that could be part of it. I, I don't see a reason why we couldn't go to Beth with her new me no. <laughs> with her at her. I plan on being on a lot so, of drugs. So, <laughs> but, but also, John, you had contacted Dr. Carpe. Prescribed. You, John had contacted Dr. Carpe because yeah. he has an interest. Yeah, well, you guys can talk about well, all that. Yeah, I mean, so the, the, February, the, February. The last, the last thing. I think one of the things we're missing most in this subgroup is we don't have any police uh, presence. Okay, here. you guys can talk yeah, about yeah. if that's. A well, good I but I want to be sure that that you're comfortable. But I have I have uh, emailed Officer Watson and asked about the availability of an officer to be part of the subgroup 
uh, because when, for example, when we're talking about all these data, if we had a police officer, they could help a great deal in answering questions like, why are this so you're asking animal? for permission to do that? Huh? Yes, I would well, like permission. What is your permission? Yes. Yes. No, no, no. I think we should. Thank you. I mean, are you? Uh, yes. So I guess I view this discussion as highly out of order, as the, <laughs> <laughs> as the committee will be bringing a more fully fleshed proposal to February. Great. Thank you very much. End of discussion. Okay. End of discussion. Um, Thank you. We need to move on. So, so and, and as you know, from the from the front page of this, no, um, I think you're getting cut off. Yeah, I think we need to move on to, a, to other reports. I think we understand that you will bring back. Oh no, there's there's a few. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, yes. go ahead. I'm sorry. There, there were two separate aspects. One was talking about next month, and one was talking about this report. Um, so to return to this report, uh, as as you know from the, from the front page, um, I consulted with um, I had NAP review all of my classifications, and I accepted. Um, all of his reclassifications, except for that I kept speeding, except for commuting violations. Um, and the more detailed part of this that takes up the majority of the space, um, what's most important here is that um, in your spreadsheet, uh, these charge statutes here, you can actually click on them and they will send you to the text of the statute. Right. So you know exactly what each of these and means. That's awesome. Yeah, cool. that's awesome. Um, and the, the numbers in this citation list are just tickets. It's, these are not people. Um, and sorry that the fields were originally mislabeled. That's why I relabeled okay. them. So this is the breakout of the prior thing. Exactly. This gives me each of the, uh, of the violation groups and then all of the things within that violation group and the specific numbers of each of those. Exactly. 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 Okay. So you can come back at the next meeting and be like, you totally misclassified this. It should be like this instead. And then I would fix it. My hope is that you know, everyone thinks, I don't know, they, either people will bring their, their complaints to the next meeting or not, and then hopefully at the next meeting, and I guess this goes to the process question, and it'd be fine if it takes until March, but eventually I'd like the group to be like, oh, this is great, you can like release this publicly, even though it's already a public record. Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, well, mm. you, want, you want to revisit quickly the proposal for policy projects. We have looked at it twice. I think people are pretty familiar with those policy project proposals. And my understanding, what I remember is that we agreed to the um, process that was put forward in terms of how one of these projects might go forward. So um, is there any report about any each of them or any of them um, going forward? We have a process, remember, that someone will take the lead. I just have a little update report. Go ahead, I guess that's what I'll say. Um, I've talked to um, Sarisha Nadu and um, John Booth and Jessica Thomas uh, regarding possibly working on a policy project. Um, and uh, Sarisha uh, is very interested. Um, and uh, Jessica, I think, has got a little too much on her plate at the moment. Though she, and then John Booth was also interested. So the, so I guess the question is, is there anybody here who wants to, would want to join? Uh, and basically, the one we were focusing at is disparate impact, justice system, disparate impact on the poor. But quite honestly, when I was talking to Sarisha today, she's like the moving, the, you know, moving parking violation. That issue is right in the center of the spirit of back and forth, as is the drug control policy. It can be. It's not exactly the same thing. Now, maybe not. Uh, but anyway, I mean, there's some issues that are related. That are overlapping. That are overlapping. Yeah. So, so the one we've been mainly looking at, uh, that there seems to be some interest, is the disparate impact on the poor. Okay. And with Pam coming on as our new mayor and so on, I just think there's a real opportunity here. So. So according to the process, uh, it looks it's, like I think we're still a little premature, maybe. I mean, we're not been, quite ready to not quite ready to launch. But, but, but I do want to ask if anybody else was interested in, in joining this mm -hmm. work. You reached? No, my. You did, or your mail now? Kate, not interested. I might be. Okay. 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 You're interested. Okay, you, and you think you have time? Okay, cool. Well, I will. I, I think, yeah. Okay, and then Ellis, a lot of interest. Ellis also has um, 
an interest in a new, a new project. Yeah, that last when we last made. discussed this, I floated the idea of doing one on surveillance issues. Okay. There's so much new surveillance technology out there, and police officers are always so attracted to it. Uh, You're so, talking body cameras and traffic cameras? Yeah, and automatic license plate reading, drones, and, you know, the list goes on. Okay. Uh, things we can't even think of. Um, so I'm interested in working on that, and uh, I, that's all. You know, last time I raised it, everybody said, yeah, great. Uh, but I'm shopping for other people that want to work on it with me. Or if we have maybe some people in the community that would talk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to be people from here. If you know somebody in the community that has a particular bent in that direction, uh, send them to me. Okay. Uh -huh. I, um, these are all good and important things. I find activity creep is something to be battled, and I would encourage this to try and finish things we've got already in place, which is a large number of things, and work on some basic issues that we're putting in, and working on putting in place, and then add more detailed things like that, one, for instance. Okay. Well, thanks for the, um, that kind of goes into the next item. Yes, the next item. And our next item is, um, uh, the thought that we've had almost a year, and remember we did an annual report, and also in the packet you can see a note from when we first put together our working groups. It's, it's titled 10, 11, 16 Village Task Force in the packet. And at that point we were looking at the probable work of each of these committees. And so, um, everybody found that. So this is just a chance to regroup and we've already um, we've already put out a couple of different regroupings um, and the thought was we could each maybe um, talk to the people we're in our new group with so that would be Al, John, and Beth on the data. Can we listen to the instructions? Everybody ready to listen? Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, Al, John, and Beth on data, and um, Bill and I looking at these collaborative groups, and then whatever else. I didn't ask you if you wanted to be on another group as well, but that one in particular. Um, and then, Kate, I guess you've completed your task. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, and so like what you see a, a new direction for yourself. Um, and then the last one, um, well not necessarily the last one, but an important one is this public perceptions that we never totally got off the ground, although the high school women did do one survey, but the idea was to do interviews, surveys, um, video, I mean, we talked about a lot of different things and that didn't happen. So then the question is, do we, are we laying that down or is there people who still want to work on that? And if so, what will the work be? So the idea is, what is our work coming up for the next year? And can we maybe just take um, 10 minutes to talk among our, you know, to talk with the people you're going to be working with, and then we can report back to the group of we think we're going to be doing this. Does that seem possible that we could do that now? Or do we need to go away and come back? <laughs> need to go away and come back? Yeah, okay. so. Because, like, those guys need to talk. Okay. <laughs> we all need some to hear some of us who are on the line. Yeah, okay, maybe we don't have enough time for that. Um, but let's, let's, as a group, think for a minute about this group that didn't quite get going um, of the looking for the public um, input. And um, I know, is Sean still here? Yeah. yeah. I know that Sean and some others have, and I can give you three more minutes uh -huh. to talk about your intention of having a citizens group to talk together. Yeah, yeah um, I believe what you're speaking Alsa. about is. Um, and thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity. You're talking about a, a project to collect people's stories. Is that it? Yes. yes. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so next, uh, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow at 6 p.m., uh, we'll be having a group um, meet speaking about a, a new 
project to collect people's stories that have had uh, incidents with the police. Now, um, we're so far just a, a loose association of people who have had bad experiences, but we're not just looking for bad experiences. We actually want to know what people have, um, what sorts of interactions people have had with the police that have really worked. We want to know what's worked and we want to expand that. We want to know what hasn't worked and we want to be able to address that honestly. Um, and, and with Where integrity. will this have take place? Um, so the, the location is, is yet to be announced, um, but uh, I'll certainly let anyone know. I have a sign-up sheet if you're interested in getting more information about it uh, going forward. Okay. Uh, so I'll pass that email? around. Should we get an email from Sean? We could get an email. I have two of your emails. Oh, okay. Them. Maybe send out. Maybe send it out to the group. Yeah. Sure. Either one is fine. Okay. One, I think that Sean I'll send honest. his email to everyone then about that. Okay. Um, and and um, yeah. So. Okay. That's good. Thanks. So let's have some. And you can join in if you like. What are well, just a call out to people who you know have had. If you know somebody who had had uh, experiences that, that you think that they would really like to share, please refer them to us. Um, if because that's really valuable. Or if you uh, want to speak on somebody's behalf, we'd also like to hear what you what you have to, to say about it. So. Okay. So that that will be one um, effort to collect stories and information input from the community um, but and this was this was um, Steve John and Dave and everybody got very busy and this didn't quite have traction so oh, actually, we, can I, I really want to add one more thing and that is that, that I don't want this actually just to be a community project I actually would much prefer the task force would take this on, take up our, our um, interviews, maybe re-interview people if necessary, but really do a more scientific version of this. Okay. You know, we're, we're not doing this in, we're not intending to do this in place of something that the task force would take okay, on. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. thanks. So the, uh, Ellis. Well, um, I've always thought that the topic of uh, citizen review board would be a really good topic to address at a community forum. Because I'm thinking back to the meeting that was at the church, you know, after New Year's, and that was something everybody talked about. But my sense is most people really don't know anything about it. They don't know what the options are. They don't know the resources involved. Uh, they don't know, how, you know, what it can do and what it can't do, et cetera. And so to have a community discussion around an issue, a, sort of a narrow issue, like a real discrete thing, where there are actually some really good sources, people could all read three or four things, and, they, and we could have a really cool, informed conversation, it, it might lend itself to that kind of community thing. So since is, this committee is going to be talking about it, you might consider <coughs> working that into the conversation. Okay. Right. Okay. I addressed this before we did attempt to do this and we had a lot of trouble yeah. as I was saying because of people either anonymity um, or um, fear of retaliation by police or just fear of paranoia or whatever it may right. be um, but we advertised we put the word out we attempted to do just this from a task force perspective right. and the fact that it was trying to be done by the test for scared a lot of people uh -huh. so i like where you're if you want to do it i'm i said it's a good idea before but the concept of having a test force do it scared people away okay that's it was attempted. really I'm, I'm just attempting to answer him directly of something that we did yeah. and so that's just yeah i didn't did, mean yeah tried. no i know that everybody so tried things you it's tried just, the women, high school women tried, people tried, but we actually didn't, and that's one reason why, mm. one important reason why. So, I guess the question is, I mean, we have a citizen group getting started, that's one thing that can happen. Um, if anyone, I'm just checking if anyone else has another idea or wants to take on some part of that, John? I just wanted to correct the record that um, Steve and Dave were doing something separate from what we're talking about. So it was just it was just me and Steve that were working on the on the thing that was related to interviewing people in a narrative fashion. Just, I, I just understand what you're saying. The, it, was, it was just it was just a shot. Oh, I don't know why David's name was here, but it was a long time ago. <laughs>
Yeah, it's not an interesting way back then. Can I clarify? So yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah, you yeah, advertise yeah, it on the and as it being under the auspices of the task force. We want in 2016. We had an intention of getting more input from the community, and there was some effort to do some interviews. I don't know. They were they videos. They were at the high school. They were interviews. There was there was videos, interviews. All yeah. people talked to people. Yeah. Anyway. People, not a good response. That's not a good response. Well, so, you know, there is a there is a however a not that old Yellow Springs newspaper survey that went out about police attitudes toward the police, and a lot of people did that. So we could pull that up again. Anyway, at the moment, there's nothing happening there that's officially the task force. And and one of the benefits of not being under um, government auspices is that you would not be um, bound by. Uh, the Public Records Act, and so um, you'd be able to treat people's anonymity yeah. like, a lot more cleanly. I would just say, if the group actually had some recommendations or input, I, and I think one thing we need to figure out, we kind of get a little stuck at the beginning tonight, uh, when the public has something that they want to bring to the committee, I think I mean, that's one thing I thought we should talk about at the end of this meeting. Is, maybe putting that on the agenda, but I, I would think the committee would be interested in input from this kind of group. But I, I do think there's some benefit from being out for being outside. I also agree with that. But Okay, well oh, so going I, back I, I can't, to I can't really raise my I see I make get your attention to raise my hand, so <laughs> No, you're we're done with you for right <laughs> now. <laughs> 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 It's a very small thing, but, but I think it, it would really contribute a lot to, to what I'm up to with this, this um, narrative group, it, which is... Yeah, but why don't you talk to those guys? Yeah, you can talk to them later. They're, they're I think well, they're I, know, I mean, it's a very small thing for the, for the group itself yeah. to, to decide is, is um, these, this, these uh, interviews that have already been done, is it possible that we could make use of uh, those interviews, or if not those oh, interviews, those okay. contacts with those people? Okay, you need to talk to those guys who've done that afterwards. Now, so we're going to discuss that matter? Coming back to awesome. our <laughs> business and our agenda, the intention was that we see that we don't quite have enough time to do this, to have people who are in working groups for the coming year, and you know who you are and what group you're in, come up with a way to communicate to everyone, this is my work, this is the work I we will be doing. What is the work? We need to have some commitment and some information from everybody about what is it you're playing, what are your goals for the next year, and then how, what kind of support do you need from the task force. So let's have everyone um, commit to at our next meeting, you're bringing that to our next meeting. You're bringing some kind of a work, work plan. It doesn't right. have to be a detailed work plan, yeah. but some level of a, this so will be our work plan. Plan. This is our work. Just, so, if you put your name down, you're not yeah. committing to do anything for the narrative group. It's just to get more information about it and maybe be contacted yes. about the group. Okay. Thanks, John. Cool. All right, now let's, let's, let us turn our attention to the citizen input, because this is a little challenging. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, there's, there are several reasons why it's challenging. We have people, citizens, who we love, who are actually a part of our committee, and they just pop up whenever they want, which we appreciate, and we invite them and come up. So we have those citizens. Then we have citizens who have something they really want us to hear, and they have want time, and then we have a very full agenda, and then we have people with announcements, and uh, so how should we carry this out? Any ideas about parliamentary procedure that will work for us? So my suggestion is that we, um, in our agenda, we have our minutes that we okay, we approve our agenda, and then, so that if there's citizens who want to give, let us hear something you want to tell us, um, we have three minutes to talk, we, you know, we're going to have to keep pretty strong on that, that we give 15 minutes of time for you know, if there's something, it's not on our agenda. I mean, that's, you know, citizen, the, village has, the village council has citizens' concerns. It's in the middle of the agenda. But because people don't always want to sit through a whole meeting before they speak, and I think that is a welcoming way to do it, is to put it towards the front. And then that would solve this feel, you know, like we're kind of fighting the need of citizens to say something to us. And rather than fighting them, let's make a space. And then I think that will help solve that. You want to make a motion, please? Make a motion that we add that. 
to our agenda. Sorry, agenda. I, Citizen I don't know. concerns I right after um, we set the agenda. I'm not, I mean, as, a citizen, as a citizen, I'm not sure exactly this is what. A vote. But, but I, I don't we know what. what but, 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 is there a need for any discussion? I just want to no, clarify something. When you come to a meeting, you've got to listen to the yeah, chair. Yeah, but, but you're, you're making choices based on what the citizen input can be. And, no, and, and it's going to be no, If you're going to then reject all citizen input into the decisions about it, I'm just I just really want clarification as to whether or not that means that. It's citizens hard. can't contribute any any other time, but 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 that very beginning because you want to, I think that would be a real a real limitation for, for citizen quiet. input. Need you to be quiet. Need you to be quiet. Okay, we have a motion that's on the table, which is that we put a 15 minute item in every agenda, which allows citizens to bring their concern, and we spend that time, and we may extend that time if we felt it was necessary, but we will keep it to 15 minutes. That motion was second. Is there any discussion from the committee? Can I not have clarification on, no, the, on no, what? From, on the from the committee. From the committee. Is there a discussion? There's been a second. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes, so when you, when you say concerns, is it whatever their concerns are? Yes, right. They're okay, concerned. so that answers your question. So whatever, the concerns are, whatever, whatever your concerns are, uh, if you have it at that point, that yes. answers your question. So, but, but no, but is that okay. limited to that, or, or could, could there be what, other? What, what, whatever your concerns are. Yeah. So, so that means no, no, there wasn't any input besides that 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That is I, yes. Well, let's do a vote on that. It's a total, I, I have it's a separate separate question. Question. It is a total of 15 minutes. It's and a total it's of 15 three minutes per person. Per person. Per person. Correct. So right. get all your stuff together. Three minutes you got three per person. Minutes to talk about it. 15 minutes. And this is for miscellaneous items. Miscellaneous items. Right. This is just a set it aside. Gotcha. This doesn't limit other inputs. We're having more discussion from the committee. That's what I think. I think it's That's important to have a separate question. So That's how we do it. We'll, we'll address it directly after. Go ahead. Right. Excuse me. David, you, you had your hand up? Did yeah. you change? We're talking about having time for people to say, I feel this about X, whether it's on our agenda or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my understand in council, there's also time I after think, each item. Mm -hmm. After each item, my understanding yeah. is what was moved <clears throat> was to only have the 15 minutes for for whatever concern you want. Does it also, one question I'm asking, uh, is, does this include just some you know, input discussion, comments for, from citizens as we're talking about something? No, no this would be only no, for no, items that are not on the list. Okay, so, so, yeah, so, one person at a time, please. Yeah. I, I, I've got a couple. Um, I wanted to say the proposal is it's things unrelated to things on the agenda. Things on our agenda, I think to the extent possible, we give some time for public input during that discussion because you know but I will say that if someone keeps interrupting the chair we can't ask the police to come and remove them and I think we should consider that. I don't want to do that. I'm so sorry to say that to you Sean but we just can't have this. We yeah. just cannot have this. I would be happy it's to be the first one removed by the police. I mean that would be a very interesting dynamic. I don't think anyone should. I think that, no, that should I mean, never cannot, happen. You can Especially never. on a review board that is in, in, empowered to okay. uh, so create, create, create a, uh, an improvement with the my, my, my hands and, and community. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead, yeah. Dave. Are you Does that no. sound good to you, what I just said, though, Dave? Okay, let, let us stick with what we have as a motion first. Mm -hmm. We have a motion, which has been seconded, that we will put in every agenda, a, a and it will follow the review of the agenda. Is that correct? Or yeah. somewhere yeah. in the we'll agenda. The, we'll the there is a 15-minute segment in which people can bring up citizens. But they only have three minutes. They have three minutes each, each and so if there's only two people, each, six minutes. and they can <laughs> bring up an item that is not on the agenda. Is there any further discussion on this item? I want some clarification. That's, I, Sean. Let me finish. I think I understand what you're asking about. You know, you're trying to work it out. I think she addressed it. Two things we're talking about. One is. I, as a citizen, I can talk about whatever I want for three minutes during that 15-minute period. Yes or no? The answer is yes. 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 The other question is, while we're talking about something specific, there will be, if we decide, an opportunity for citizens to have some input, which is what you want. Yeah. And that's yeah. not in what you were saying. I just right. want to make sure. I want to make sure right. that that's either in there or not, so that I know. At what the vote. moment, it's not. We can come. Okay. We can create a second motion. But our, our motion, uh, unless I you would, want to amend it. I would like to amend it to include that in there. Can I amend the time? Then the time on that, I think. You, can, you, you can't. You can't amend it. She has. She. Okay. No, 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 no. She. He can. He can. No, he can't. Because she made the motion. 
I think they could friendly. However, I'm suggesting it be done in an appropriate way. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think it's important for us to a lot of time for community input for what we're talking about and have people bring things uh, as others, have, as Sean and others have done at times to hear, and we also have, have to be able to have a meeting amongst ourselves because we are a commission that, uh, okay, let's that, has, stick, stuff, let's that, stick that has stuff to do. Make the amendment or And not. I think that it's important to consider both of those, but we also well, have to recognize that we need to we need to do business ourselves. Okay, Bill is, is Bill is reminding me that she, the person she, who made she, the motion can amend it if she can fix it. Well, I was going to say, there could be a friendly but amendment. No, there's no such thing as a friendly amendment. John, you're playing the game too hard. I <laughs> Use Robert's rules or don't. She has I don't. Okay, all right, everybody. Let's have a. Okay, all right. Go get the book or whatever. We'll look how we Google. But go ahead. He's made an amendment. Have, she made an amendment. It's seconded. And should we vote on it? Are we ready to vote on it? Or do we need test the vote? All in favor of the 15 minute file at the front end of the meeting. Three minute. All in favor? Is that the total uh, of what she's right. saying? Or did it also That's all. And we'll just do a second. Just do that. Okay. Uh, uh, are you calling for voting? Yeah. Yeah. We were having yeah. a motion. Oh, 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 wait. So debate on the, on the, on the next amendment. We haven't had the meeting. Let's finish this one. I'm calling for a vote. I'm calling for a vote. No, no. No, no. Wait. Debate on, you have to open debate on the, on, the, on the amendment. The amendment takes debate. We did. We just had debate. We decided we were holding on. We didn't. We didn't amend it. We haven't amended it yet. So. I'll make a second motion that during our regular discussions that any one uh, citizen can have up to three minutes to um, weigh in on that particular discussion. Not more than three minutes. Okay. Not Sorry. three minutes. Um, Is there a second to this motion? Al yeah. no, has no, no, seconded. All right, can we now have some Wait, orderly okay. discussion? Wait, oh, yes. don't wait. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. of course. Okay. Um, so, of course, uh, this admits the possibility of motions to extend debate, which would then re-up people's ability to uh, to speak, and then also just the chair's discretion to, to grant people. Yeah, we kind of, we kind of, yeah. I mean, there's always chair's discretion, but I, I think so might is showing that. I would say that both, both the chair has the right to extend debate and give people more time to speak, but then also if the committee felt otherwise than the chair, they could also make a motion to extend debate, and that would also re-up people's ability to participate. Okay, we still have a motion on the table and right. a second. Just so it's clear that this does not affect those. Right, okay, let's, let's bring this to a vote, which is at the chair's discretion, citizens may also uh, have three minutes to comment on an agenda item. Not, is that the motion? I'm kind of confused right now, because okay, I don't know what they vote. Not on I thought we already did the amendment, we had the vote on the amendment, did we? Sorry? Yeah, I just we think had, we've had, we've had a, we're not talking about a second, right, right. Oh, we're it's talking about a second motion. motion. Right. And it's not an amendment, it's a completely different. We have passed a motion. Can I summarize for us, please? We have passed a motion that we will in the future, at the front end, after doing agenda check, offer a 15 minute time period mm -hmm. where citizens can have three minutes each right. to speak to something that is not on the agenda. So, in other words, they're commenting on our agenda or they're adding to our agenda. That was passed. Right. That's over. So, there's just something now, you can tell us. Sorry? Or there's just something they feel like they want to share. Or something they want to share. Right. It doesn't have to be said all the way. Okay. 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 Now, now we have a second motion. And the second motion is that, as I understood it, at the chair's discretion, citizens would have three minutes to comment on um, I think we should, I think we should just I, I not at the chair's discretion, just that people can have three minute comment okay. on three any comment item that we're talking about. Okay. And that's the max. Okay, that and that's been seconded. Is there any other comments on this? Let's vote please. Aye. 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 <coughs> okay, motion's passed. Thank you. How about a motion to adjourn? I I would be fully adjourn. I at the very beginning of this meeting, you made a plea for people to respect the chair. I, I am very disappointed that the conduct of, of, of the, some people in not respecting the chair. I'm particularly concerned because the last month when Ellis chair, it seemed like there was much more respect. I just wonder if that was the basis because of the gender difference. I mean, this is just not, I'm very, very bothered by the conduct during this meeting. I would, I, I mean, I don't know about, 
I would sort of second what Al said. I was, I mean, come on, folks. I mean, this is, it's such a privilege to be able to sit around a room with other wonderful people and talk about important issues. Let's behave like we like each other and we're doing right. something together that's important. I mean, God, please. I fight with people all day long. I don't want to come here and do that all night long. We can do way better than this. But I do appreciate Al pointing out a sexist something. I don't even know how to finish that, but I do appreciate you pointing that out because it, it does happen often that women are interrupted more than men um, and not as respected even by other women. Yeah. I mean, well, the chair does have the right to just close the debate at their own discretion, I think, without um, asking. We have a vote on a journey, excuse me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All I those in favor? Aye. 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 Did you give me